Welcome to Studio 1034. Lovey Olivia. And Odd I See. afternoon we are in studio 1034 and we are about to have a session a vibe session an artistic session with this dynamic artist from Houston Texas and um, she's just gonna tell us a little bit about the show that will be debuting on the 24th of September at studio 1034 hosted by the Houston Black Ladies Art Society Okay, so let's get into this because she says she's camera shy, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I'm your host, Miss Kimberly Keaton. Yes, curator, semi curator, amateur curator. <laughs> curator, curator, <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to jump into this interview and you can just tackle it how you want to. Okay. Where do you do your work as far as being an artist? Um,. Where do I do my work? <sighs> That's interesting because most of my work starts out um, literally. I do a lot of uh, reading, a lot of research, a lot of writing, and a lot of times that takes place in a library or a bookstore um, or my library in my home. I take that information to my studio and then I start to make it visual. So uh, my studio, where I do all the visual work, is in downtown Houston behind, um, was it Warehouse Live? It's behind Warehouse Live off of McKinney and Dowling, four flights up, and uh, it's a great space. I enjoy it. It's broad, open windows, and I'm allowed to go in and express myself. So my studio is right in the heart of H Town where it's hustling and bustling, and it feeds me the energy that I need to create the work that I do. Okay, so um, do you work from life or from photographs or from imagination? Um, do I work from life, photographs, or imagination? Um, saying, um, <laughs> I, it's a combination of all those things. Um, oftentimes I'll have a model sit for me, I'll take pictures. Sometimes I'll be in public and I'll take pictures of poses that are candid and unexpected so that I can have some things that are not contrived, uh, movements and anatomy that's not contrived or forced to pose. So I use a lot of images from my photographs that I take at parties, that I take when I'm traveling. Um, sometimes I have a friend or a person I've met to come in and sit for me in the studio. I take pictures of them. So I don't necessarily paint from life as it being a model or a still person there, but I do paint from photographs. Um, those photographs are then mixed with my imagination. It's mixed with my, you know, supernatural ideas and fantasies of what I think these beings and these persons hold. So I have to express this, this um, idea about them that's not really real. It's it's surreal. So um, I do a combination of. Oh, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> no, you're doing good. You're doing good. I forgot what the question was. <laughs> uh, do you work from life or from photographs or? From imagination. So yeah, I work from a life, imagination, and photographs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you feel art is going, or your art, in the 21st century? And I'm just gonna take the audience down okay. while you're talking um, and letting them see your art work. From my perspective, I personally feel like art itself, visual art, is definitely going towards a more conceptual and minimalist approach. Um, Things that are not necessarily uh, um, conflicting, that are not necessarily questionable, political, or anything that 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 compels an argument or provokes or a question or something like that. I believe a lot of work is becoming a lot less um, human 
So my whole approach is to tackle those same ideas but make it beautiful, uh, paint it with a certain amount of visual aesthetic so that people want to approach it and want to talk about it and maybe somehow I can draw them in with the symbols and codes and textures that I use and then maybe we can then have a conversation about some other topics that are a little bit deeper and beneath the surface. Um, I think I answered that. So I think that today's work is going more contemporary and more minimalist and more, um, not contemporary, what word am I looking for? Um, conceptual. And I want to keep it visual. That's why I do figurative and that's why I do representative work because that's where I feel like I can tell my stories. What inspired this new installation, Odd I C spelled O D D I S E E? Those are all separate words. <laughs> my interviewer, Miss Kim, Kimberly, she uh, had this idea to do a show with Odyssey in the name. And I can't quite remember what that title was, but I know it's definitely about portrayals and about this journey and this Odyssey. So instead of using it just as it is, as Odyssey we see it, I wanted to break the word down to be able to be three separate words or one word. So I pronounce it Odyssey, and some people pronounce it Odd I See, and it could be interpreted either way. So it's sort of my perspective on these women, these identities, these characters. So it's the odd that I see in the people behind the facade. All right, well... We gave you a very quick interview, and you did a great job. You and got some editing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just thank you for coming by and hanging the artwork. And um, we look forward to seeing you this weekend. And we just wanted to share this quick art deco moment with Lovey Olivia. Thanks, Kim, for having me, welcoming me to the space, and the energy is good. So y'all come out. Check it out.